It seems like every day, scientists discover something new and fascinating about the world around us. Unfortunately, it can be difficult to keep up to date with all the latest and interesting information that is broadcast 24-7. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we're bringing you up to speed with three interesting discoveries that you might have missed. Mars is home to the largest waterfall in the solar system. Mars may be the second smallest planet, but it is home to some of the most massive geological features ever discovered, including what once was the largest waterfall in our solar system. The impressive structure is located in Mars's Ecus Chasma. Chasma refers to a large but narrow area of land on another planet that dips below the surface around it, creating steep sides. The Ecus Chasma is about 6 miles wide and 62 miles long. It is found in the Lunae Planum Plateau, which is north of Valles Marineris, or the Grand Canyon of Mars. The valleys of the Ecus Chasma contain clay and resemble drainage networks observed on Earth, so the Chasma is thought to have been a significant source of water for Mars. It also may have contributed to the formation of a large valley named Casse Valles. Thanks to useful images taken by the high-resolution stereo camera of the Mars Express spacecraft and other cameras on NASA's Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter, scientists have located a 4,000-mile-high cliff in the Chasma's eastern region. They believe that this cliff once made up the largest waterfall in the solar system, as water poured off the cliff all the way down to the valley floor. This is connected to a change in the climate of Mars that occurred 3.7 billion years ago. At that time, temperatures started to drop, which caused much of the water on Mars to become frozen on the surface or underground. As this occurred, volcanic activity on Mars started to increase. Volcanic activity ultimately melted the ice, leading to the dramatic flooding that would have made the giant waterfall possible. This created a smoothed-out valley floor that would eventually be flooded by basaltic lava. Now. What used to be the giant waterfall of the Ecus Chasma is just a dry cliff. A 4,000-mile-tall waterfall was previously inconceivable. The largest waterfall on Earth is an undersea waterfall called the Denmark Strait Cataract, located in the Atlantic Ocean. The waterfall stands at just over two miles tall. While the waterfall of the Ecus Chasma is not active today, the discovery is still important for understanding the history of Mars. Astronomers discover massive galaxy shipyard. Scientists may soon have the opportunity to study how galaxies form clusters after their creation. In a 2021 publication, a team of researchers confirmed the discovery of a protocluster, which refers to a group of galaxies about to group together by the European Space Agency's Planck Telescope. The team was able to discover the protocluster by looking through a sample of over 2,000 formations that were potentially in the process of forming a galaxy group. Galaxy clusters are extremely important. Our own solar system, the Milky Way, is part of a cluster called the local group. However, studying protoclusters is difficult because they cannot be detected by optical light. To find them, scientists must look to other regions of the electromagnetic spectrum. Protoclusters tend to appear far more prominently in submillimeter wavelengths. The newfound galaxy group, which has been identified as the G237 protocluster, was observed in the far infrared region. G237 is 11 billion light years away from Earth. So far, 63 galaxies have been observed as part of the protocluster. As explained by Brenda Fry, co author of the study, you can think of galaxy protoclusters such as G237 as a galaxy shipyard in which massive galaxies are being assembled, only this structure existed at a time when the universe was 3 billion years old. Galaxies are created when gravity pulls together stars and other matter. After they are assembled, galaxies show a strong tendency to form clusters. Researchers were initially puzzled by the formation processes of the G237 protocluster. It seemed to be forming stars at an unrealistic rate, more than 10,000 times that of the Milky Way. 
This should indicate a protocluster that is depleting stellar fuel rapidly. To sustain its level of production, G237 needed a constant stream of fuel, in the form of hydrogen gas, which is necessary to form stars. The problem was that scientists did not know where it could be getting this gas. Ultimately, it was concluded that sufficient hydrogen could be drawn from gas threads, called filaments, that link galaxies in the cosmic web. Filaments are connected by nodes, which is also where protoclusters are located. Fry stated, We believe that the filaments mediate the transfer of hydrogen gas from the diffuse medium of intergalactic space onto these hungry, newly forming protoclusters in the nodes. Researchers also realized some of their data had come from galaxies irrelevant to the protocluster, but the G237 star formation rate remains impressive nonetheless. It appears that the protocluster produces 1,000 solar masses annually, while the Milky Way creates only one. Hopefully, G237 and other protoclusters will help scientists understand the mechanisms of star formation in galaxies and how protoclusters ultimately become superclusters. Australian Telescope Finds 1 Million New Galaxies A powerful Australian telescope has created a highly advanced atlas of the universe. In 2020, the telescope, called the Australian Square Kilometre Array Pathfinder, mapped 3 million galaxies in the span of 300 hours. This is extremely impressive, especially when compared to the preceding all-sky surveys that took years. It is estimated that 1 million of the galaxies charted by ASCAP have never been observed previously. It all took place in the remote outback of Western Australia, where ASCAP transformed radio signals to images, mapping the sky with a level of detail two times that of previous surveys. ASCAP only needed 903 images to complete the map, while other telescopes needed tens of thousands. From the Australian desert, nearly 500 miles north of Perth, the atlas ended up covering 83% of the sky. This was made possible by ASCAP's 36 antennas, combined with a fiber-optic cable that works to create a single ultra-powerful telescope. ASCAP connects the signals from many smaller dishes, which creates more detailed images while remaining less costly than a single, larger dish. The three-story high instrument is run by Australia's National Science Agency, the Commonwealth Scientific and Industrial Research Organization. The telescope's data, which generates at a pace faster than Australia's internet, is received by a supercomputer processing facility in Perth. Researchers hope that ASCAP will help them learn more about how galaxies form and interact. Looking at galaxies billions of light years away helps scientists to look back in time and understand the universe in its earlier stages. The atlas from the ASCAP is a precursor to even more exciting information to come. Scientists believe that there may be up to one trillion galaxies for instruments like the ASCAP to observe. Plus, public data from the telescope will help scientists collaborate and truly make sense of the observations. In fact, an international project will follow soon. The world's largest radio telescope, called the Square Kilometre Array, which will find its home in South Africa and Australia, is currently in the works. It seems we still have more questions than answers about our universe, but scientists are helping us understand more and more at an impressive pace. The stream of fascinating information does not show signs of stopping anytime soon. But what do you make of these interesting discoveries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comments section below and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.